talking about though? Yeah. I only fuck on these hoes. Say. <laughs> you all, GMG. Yeah. No juego con mi dinero. I cannot play about though. No pierdo mi tiempo con pana ni cuero. I only fuck on these hoes. Sembré una manilla abajo de la cama. Then I watch it steady grow. En Santo Domingo andaba con machete, but in the rack I keep a pole. Yeah. No juego con mi dinero. I cannot play about though. No pierdo mi tiempo con pana ni cuero. I only fuck on these hoes. Sembré una manilla abajo de la cama. Then I watch the steady grow. En Santo Domingo I kept a machete, but in the rack I keep a pole. I cannot play about it. Tengo PTSD, I can't sleep without it. Tengo momentos que olvido lo duro que ha sido. So I smoke and think about it. No juego con mi dinero, por eso me pagan adelante los show. Got in the mix and I dance with the devil every day. I do it, I gamble my soul. No cuento con pana, no jodo con cuero. I show them my heart. Hold like a motherfucker. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How you know how I many Latino sellies I had? I learned that. I know exactly what he said. Man, what what he was did he say? He said a lot about. Listen, first of all, he met this girl at the club. He took her to the car, and he and he and he, and he, and he went down. I don't want to get into too much of other stuff, but it was explicit. <laughs> get the fuck. <laughs> hey, he went down. Hey, man. shout out to <laughs> shout out to the homie Jew Ball. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that was no fuego. And you're now you know, tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. I'm Wallow Two Six Seven. This is Gilly the Nut. That's Mona, aka White Girl, Eric, aka Queen of the Mile. Don't That's Tony, the Clothes, aka Tony, the Tackler. Triple T. Yes, and this is presented by Bar Stew Sports. Hey, listen, man. Shout out to uh, him. You know all the artists that be sending me songs for Song of the Week. You know. Mm -hmm. He he speak in Spanish, you feel what I'm saying? So you know, uh Wonder. so you know uh I didn't know if it was hot or not, but I knew it <laughs> sounded like it was hot. So if there's any Spanish people out there, I need y'all to tell me if it was hot or not. You about? feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Let's go into our first sponsor, right? Bar stool and four players teamed up with Owens to create the perfect transfusion mix. That delivers a crisp, refreshing flavor combination of real grape juice and ginger ale. This might have started as a golf course drink, but mm -mm, not no more. This is the drink of the summer. You hear me? The Barstool Transfusion is our favorite cocktail mixer of the summer. Just add vodka. Simple as that. Bam! Perfect transfusion. Oh, and Transfusion's mix is made in USA with real juice created instantly delicious cocktails with perfect carbonations all summer available online at Owen's site or the bar stool store so make sure y'all go check out owens mixers we got them at the crib they make the best cocktails too they always you know she always used the owen mixers to because she fight you know the girls over they cocktails all day you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all go and visit available online Owen site or the bar stool store or a store near you. Check them out ASAP. Hey, let's get in the main odds for the game, right? Yeah. What are we gonna talk about first? Cause there's a lot of shit it's we could talk about. Everything shit. going on. What, what, uh, goddamn. So you sit here and telling me Tory Lanez shot Megan in a tootsies? Listen. Cause Ale I didn't see that shit, and allegedly. I ain't putting That's no allegedly. smut on Tory name like that. You better if you if you saying this shit, this better be some fucking facts to this. Meg went live. All the Megan Stallion fans out there, um, Meg went live and she cried. You know, she talked about missing her mother. Her mother was her first manager. Her mother died before she really blew up. Rest in peace to her mother. Rest in peace to her mom. And then y'all know she has all the beef with the people who she used to sign with, be signed with, like Jay Prince and et cetera, et cetera. So. She just, she cried on live and just said, you know, it's not funny. She was shot in both of her feet. She had to get surgery. She's not signed with Jay Prince. She signed with somebody else. But uh, that's another story, but go ahead. Well, thank you, Wallo. Thank you so much. I'm just saying, Claire. Carl Crawford, but go ahead. Thank you. Any other corrections? No, go ahead. Uh, Niggas, thank you. Anyway, but she cried on live, and that's what make it official because she told him. Now, while Tori's not in jail, we don't know, but everything played Wallow out. cried and Cordy was lying. <laughs> I had to do it, Dad. He was like, bitch, you on tape. Listen, the whole night- 20 to 40. Welcome to 2020. The whole night was online. They went live. It's Kylie Jenner, Meg Thee Stallion, and Tori. She's clearly upset with him, like getting smart with him. Don't touch my phone. You're going to get my phone wet. On the limo ride home, 
something happens, she gets shot in the ride, and then the police get them to walk out. She's limping, bleeding. That's all on camera. Uh -huh. Limping, bleeding. But back how to you the get hospital. Tory Lane's shot in the Tootsies, though? Well, the first person that gets out the car with his hands up walking is Tory Lane. So what did you did you did she say Tory Lane shot her in the Tootsies? She said she was shot in both feet. But did, did she say, she say yeah. Tory Lanez shot me in the tootsies? These people are gonna be pissed with y'all that y'all playing games like we don't know Tory Lanez shot the girl in the feet. She's not. He didn't go to jail. I think the the, the, the well, if he go to jail, part, what is he talking? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Part what part people's is, gonna be mad just because I'm uh, listen? Because how do you not know what's going on? Because I don't. It's I don't, been everywhere. The live is recent, but the first thing with them getting pulled over and him walking with his hands up, it was dramatic. It was Why do you? Okay, 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 okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay, I'm a fan of Jake. Figure this shit out. I'm a but I don't well. fucking listen to Megan. You think I'm gonna be uh, dude, sexy, moody, I'm nasty? You think I'm be doing all I that shit? You actually did that nice. Like, I you, 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 you did that nice. nice. I'm just saying. I saw you what you mean nice? If you was in the oh, 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 you would be spicy. You would have won. No, you would have won the jail talent show. Fuck that. That was nice. Do that again. That you was three time champion. No, that was nice. That you was the three time champion of. I'm just saying that was that was quite decent. Like I'm just. I'm not. We here a million dollars worth of the game. We love Tory Lanez and we love. Megan Can Stallion. I ask you a question? We hope everything's good. Okay. We, our prayers so, go out to okay, you, Okay, so why would Tory Lane shoot Megan Thee Stallion in now the Now, this is the part the that is rumor, okay? Rumor. This is all alleged, what I'm about to say. But Meg and Tory was fucking, child. Okay, they were fucking. Um, she got, Meg got irritated because he was showing Kylie too much attention in that pool. That's why she said don't touch the phone because the phone was going to get wet. It got heated. Meg is hands on like myself. Whooped his little ass, so. So that was self-defense. Oh, so self that was self-defense. That nigga's like five, two and a half. Y'all some bitch ass niggas. Y'all gonna, oh, 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 oh. gonna activate the pistol? Oh, oh, oh. No, no, I ain't say no, 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 no. I feel like that. I did not say that. You little like that nigga. You gonna activate the pistol on the No, I don't know. I have a double five three or five four. Why they why have they not charged him though? I'm not saying I would do, but I'm just saying. Why why hey look, you said that you said you said that he came out and he was he was get you know all dramatic. Why has he not been charged? That's what I was confused about, but that's See, what, that's what makes me more believe this. I just want to put this out there. I just want to put this out there, right? I just want to put this out there. This is some shit she yes, made up. Yes, I really wanted to talk about We it. ain't got no shit. We ain't got no Us three ain't got nothing and to do with And I want to make them know that people are standing right. behind you because I know the, you feel who alone. Did, but but if, it's, if, it's a, if it's a domestic violence case, like I don't stand for that, but like still, like, well, it's this, domestic though. violence for sure. I'm going to say this though, Mo. Can I ask you a question? I'm trying to figure this out. Why is it that women have this dedication and fascination with celebrities' relationship, but they don't have that same fucking energy in their relationship. That's Ooh. a good question. Mm. Why is one that? That's all you. Oh because my god! Because you just sat around and made up some shit. Like oh my god! They was like, arguing. Kylie Jenner was getting too I much didn't attention. Make up shit. Meg, Megan was that's mad. That's the rumor part. She gripped Tory up by his neck, picked his little it's ass. It's supposed to be a legend that the man got he shot her or not. Was he the? Only, was it just them two? He shot. Listen, um, uh, uh, Johnny Cochran. He shot the girl in the feet. <laughs> me, Drea. Listen, Philadelphia's own Drea came out and said, "Ooh, I love that." Thug love nigga shoot me and the internet went crazy they're so upset about it so i feel like i don't want to oh, so say too much but i don't think there's nothing wrong with giving nigga leg warmer when he need it oh no nah. my grandmother and her sister both shot their husband i ain't gonna front i got i ain't even gonna say nothing yeah you nah. shoot nigga little stab little poke <laughs> nah yeah Tootie i remember i remember you? i remember she chased Tootie's you down the street back you? in the day <laughs> i remember has never you thought you? i wasn't gonna remember she chased you down the street back in the day Quite. that was the fastest i ever seen your slew foot ass on, run turn me on has the Baltimore bomber ever two pieced you? Plead the fifth. Okay, exactly. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help. Damn. <laughs> Has Tootie ever poked you? Never. Domestic violence is not funny, but it's just, you know, it's just, but you know, But you like happen. a good pistol whipping. No. You love a nigga that pistol <laughs> no. whipped the shit no, out of you. No, I'm not with that. I'm nigga not with that. Whip you. Ever threaten your, the dude with ever threatened your life and you, and you, and you love him more? No. Your pussy ain't that good. No. Hey, so what y'all think? Hey, look. I, he asked, but I didn't uh, love uh, him more. Uh, uh, hey, yo, if Tory Lanez really shot her, though, me. what y'all think about that? If he, if he really did it? I don't know. I wasn't there. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They you so pro I mean? men. I'm just saying, I ain't got nothing to do ain't with that. Pro Let me just ask y'all a question. How y'all feel about the Lou Williams situation? Mm. <laughs> he left the bubble. That's my guy, Lou. Shout out to Lou hey. Will. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? I know I'm he's always saying, doing the right thing. On, everybody on Lou fucking top, right? Everybody know strip clubs got the best food. Facts. Everybody knew that. Best wings. Ho, ho, hold the fuck up. Nobody has better wings than When I was in jail and when I came home, I wasn't thinking about going to strip club to eat nothing. I, 
No, I'm not gonna say I wasn't thinking about <laughs> going there to eat something. I'm just saying like, <laughs> you eat. Tr- Oh, you were away, they became hangouts. It's not oh, strip clubs no I'm just more. Saying, People get their hair the cut fuck? in the um, yeah, I never, strip club. I never ate in a strip club in my life. I always went there. You might have missed that. Well, you never been to, you ain't been to a strip club since you've been home. And I heard you was managing the stri- that you was a madam in the strip joint up to jail, but that's a different story. You know what I'm saying? No strip club yeah, see, I heard you had, you were sending. Man, get the fuck out I of here. I heard you were sending Ricky Minaj to go do personals for niggas. Yeah, they want you just keep putting smoke on my jacket. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I don't. I don't understand why we'd be going there to eat. Because the strip food. Listen. And I, back in the listen, day when I was young, listen, you were away, I was going there to eat. Changed. Just before right. they had food in the right. motherfuckers. I know people that go to strip clubs just to just get to something. Hang out. Yes. Hey, look. That's, look, shit. To That's just the, the reality of it. Come on, man. Lou a player, man. Lou had yes. two wives, man. So one thing Lou ain't lacking on is no bitches, man. If Lou wanted to have a motherfucking celebration, all he had to do was call up 1,100 bitches in Atlanta that would have hauled ass over to Lou Willville. And they would have played motherfucking, <laughs> motherfucking WWE with his dick. They, they would have been in there wrestling <laughs> over his dick. They he ain't got to go to no strip clubs to get no. He lost a motherfucking family member. He he went to the strip club to get some of the best food and maybe a little therapy. Let me ask you a question. Because I don't eat, I don't eat That's what's therapy. Me. Let me ask you a Stop question, it. though. Cuz That is therapy. Stop. Let me ask you a question, Mona, y'all too. Because I, I know I don't, I don't really do they have any veggie burgers on the menu at the strip club? Yeah, yeah, do. absolutely. Which one? Hey. Like, like you going, bitch, April ain't letting you go. What? Shut up. Period point like, while you were away, strip clubs oh, changed. Let me tell you something. You can't even go, to, you can't even go to A dream of mine came true. Let me tell you something. When I was in fucking jail, all them rap records I heard about Magic City, yo, me and April was in Magic City. How was it? And it was magical. <laughs> it was magical. <laughs> magic. I never believed in magic until I went to Magic City in Atlanta. Do you believe I, in magic? Yes, yes, I do. In Atlanta. And you ain't getting no food magic at Magic City? City? Oh, no, I, food. You ain't had time. No, listen, I'm going to just say. Occupied. No, no, no comments. Please defend. You ain't eat at Magic City? I was throwing the ones, man. I said, uh, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was throwing the motherfucking ones. I made it rain in that motherfucker, Did too. Did you? How much you throw? I, didn't, I just know Nigga it was too Nigga threw 175. Get the fuck out of here. He threw a buck 75. I made it rain last night, cuz. I'm telling you, them bitches was all over me. I, no, no, <laughs> I did some shit. Dog, that little little, little chubby bitch with the, with the, with the heavy ankles. No, she, no, this she chick, don't get no money this thrown at chick, her. The one that wear the waist trainer. <laughs> no, the, bitch, the, the little chubby bitch with the heavy ankles. She don't get no the money thrown at her. So that buck 75 see, was a lot. I was the one with the eczema. Listen, what's the name hated on me, though? Abel. Abel fucked my whole Bitch game plan up. Heavy <laughs> Abel fucked my whole game plan up because I had a little, I had a little shovel joint I was doing. They probably really because listen, on her. I couldn't see my feet. I was throwing it so crazy I couldn't see my feet. So every time I couldn't see my feet, I had a joint where though I was pushing the money back under the table. Going back up. I was recycling it. I was rethrowing my shit. I knew it. Ah, yeah, we had. It. I'm from here. Because ah! they had, the, they had like right here the tablecloth was coming down. Ah! I'm winning. For the niggas in jail. Let's so, do it. So you threw $175 Four three times. Four times. <laughs> so he did blow a stack. That's what's up. I blew that shit. I, went, I, I felt like a boy. I'm, I really officially did some big meat shit in Atlanta at Magic City. And I got magic. Legendary. Legendary big shit. Big meat shit. Yeah, that was big meat shit. No, sir. Free meachy. <laughs> the fuck? Don't you ever in your fucking life put no fucking They talk meech about meats made it rain in them clubs. I made it Nigga, fucking bitch, rain. you had a little light drizzle. Fuck, this, this, I'm still in the game. If they you make bring, it rain, you dog, in the game, baby. They used to bring 40,000, 50,000 out on trees, man. You had a fucking buck 75. I recycled about 10,000. That was a fucking two minute <laughs> fucking drizzle. Damn, you did a lot of drizzle. picking up. I did a recycle about 10,000. I don't give a fuck. I'm in that. You ain't going to say I ain't. I wrote, when I wrote them boys back up to jail, and the way I described this story, I said, man, this shit. They, they was so calling you, me, me. So you sending lies to the jail. No, I ain't sending lies. I, 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 did I, did. Nigga. I had to make it sound good going back up. Who the nastiest cheaters, men or women? Oh, women. Oh, women. All day long, women. Women. What you mean, nasty? Who the nastiest cheater? I'm going to say men. Women. Due to the fact that. Fuck out of here. I have. I know people that. Fuck out of here. Their, their child's first day at school, they had to bounce around because all them niggas went to school at the same time. Because it's like five of them. No. With the same age. I'm not trying oh to hear that. God. Y'all have children. I'm not, uh, we Y'all said, make babies. We, no, we said when a woman nastier. cheat. Y'all make babies. No, we said when a nastier. woman cheat. That's nasty. Who's the nastiest cheater? Oh, yeah, we, we make babies, but y'all just put babies on niggas. Nigga find out the motherfucking son ain't his at this high school graduation. Congratulations, he's going to Duke. He's he not yours. yours. He, 
He riding me the <laughs> fuck out of here. Listen, I don't, the, the women, I think, I honestly think a lot of those women that put babies on people, they just playing games. They know. Bitches be knowing. Bitches be knowing who the dad Yeah, is. but they pick the nigga that they want. Exactly. They be like, sucker. Winner, like, winner, chicken sucker. dinner. You right. pick the nigga that's not going to ask for a blood test. You pick the nigga that got a job. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how do you know? How do you know a nigga not going to ask for a blood test? Bitch, I have three dudes, three niggas. Okay, one nigga be real. Oh, I want a family. He already asking for a baby. Then it's the drug dealer nigga that don't even call you back. You got to pull up on him. And then it's and that's the one y'all put the baby on because that's the one y'all like the most. The nigga that don't pay y'all no attention. No, you put the, you should put the baby on the one no, that wants a it baby. It ain't who you should be. You should put the baby on. Don't fuck about who the fuck you should put the baby on. His mom or his sister gonna tell him. I don't have I And don't. mom's and sister tell you quick you know the little A woman knows when she gets pregnant the, while they be playing games. They be like this. They be like this. The mom and the sister be like this. A man will fuck your cousin. baby ain't yours. A man a fuck the neighbor. My father was doing it to my teacher. A whole fucking family got good Women head. be fucking homies you and everything. Your father was fucking my teacher. My father was fucking my teacher. So the teacher was your stepmom. Basically. <laughs> did my father she, was did she pass you? Did she pass you? She was so nice to me. Oh, you get ass. He was blazing ass. Later in life, he was like, yeah, I was fucking shit out of her from GEC. Hey, nasty hey, bitch from hey, GEC. Hey, I know you was doing it to my dad, you nasty bitch. You think your bitches really fuck people, baby father? Y'all low down. God damn, do you have any morals, bitch? You have work. Shoot as soon as niggas have a baby by bitch and the baby don't look like that. Men carry the mom, BV, men hey, are disgusting. The mom and the, the, the mom and the sister pull that nigga to the side. You know that little motherfucker ain't you. I've been told you. Hey, look. Our whole motherfucker family got good here. That little peasy head motherfucker ain't. Look at his nose. His nose goes to that. That ever happened to y'all? Every person ever put a baby on y'all and it wasn't y'all? Nah. A chick put a baby on no, Gil when he was no, using condoms on. No, no, no. He no. told me no, it was oh, a leak yeah, in the condom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was hold a leak on, in wait. the condom. Hold on, wait. People always in my DM saying they both y'all son. Always. No, what? no the that. fuck they didn't fuck say. Yes, they did. I was in jail. Who Biddy said you was his father? Who Biddy? I'm going to put this bitch out there. Should I say this bitch name? Who Biddy said you was his father? I'm saying that. Should I say this bitch name? What's his mom look like? What's his mom name? His name is Woo Biddy. First of all, Wallow lost his virginity in jail. Shut the fuck up, Moni. He ain't no fucking kids. If his out mom here. worked at the jail. His mom worked at what jail she worked at? Fuck it. You put now he all curious. You do it. You open <laughs> your DMs. Open your fucking DMs. Both of y'all. Why what do you I look like? He got a ball here? And the, the one that say Gilly style look just like him. The fuck out. He of was running, running, running fuck raw around here. I cashed that for fifty dollars. First of all, let, I'm his aunt. First of all, let's just be for real. A, a bitch tried to put a little nigga on me out here. What happened? Yeah, what the fuck you mean? What happened? We went and got the test, and, uh, and I told that <laughs> bitch, I told that bitch, bitch, you knew the little nigga wasn't mine because you ain't nothing but a LNH. Oh my god. And you know what that is? <laughs> huh? That's a late night hoe. When you ain't catch nothing, and you gotta get a fucking nut in. When late night ho hopping out the beam of truck just needing a fuck. The That's fuck wrong with the you? The lady at the after hour. So at the end of the day, so bitch tried to put a child on me. But you didn't know. <laughs> no, I knew I knew the little nigga wasn't mine. But you I did knew fuck no, no, I knew I put a raincoat on, a motherfucking helmet, and I had a motherfucking AR-15. What brand, what brand I had raincoat? all types of fucking What brand rain, raincoat fuck you had wrong with Durex. you? Durex. But no, hold it was on. A Durex. No, That's hold why. on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me tell you what type of motherfucking. Let me tell you what type of motherfucking chicks this is, is out here. This is trauma. Here no, no, it comes. Shut the fuck it's up trauma. for a second, it's mo. Trauma. Let me tell you what type of bitches is out here. Cause you raggedy bitch. You lucky I don't say your fucking name. Mm. I'm just keeping it real with you. <laughs> I went and got a. Listen, I'm signed to cash money. This bitch talking about. I. She run around talking, telling everybody she got a son by me. He's traumatized. I fly the fuck back home. I take the test for the little nigga, cause I know the little nigga ain't mine. I got shit all in. I gotta come take a test for this little nigga. This shit come back. Zero fucking percent. The zeros. Donuts, bitch. Do you know the little boy was like two at the time? Two years old. <laughs> Do you know my sons bumped into this nigga? This nigga was 14. This nigga talk about Gilly, y'all dad? Yeah, that's my dad too. My son's like, what? <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, man? Hold on. They call me. Dad, you got a son named Fuck No. Do dirty. He said, right here, he talking about you his dad too. So. His mother never told him. What kind of rotten ass bitch is that? 
Mm-hmm. Huh? The dad must have been a deadbeat, so she wanted to pop off your name. To the point where, to the point where, I'm out of town. I'm with one of my homies. This nigga gonna say, "Yeah, don't you got a baby by such and such too?" I say, "Nigga, then I tell you that, that little motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck is you playing with, man? I slapped the fucking dog shit out you in here, nigga. Didn't I tell you? So you think I got kids out here, nigga, that I don't take care of, nigga? Huh? So I said, you know what? I wish I had that bitch number. He gonna say, I got it. Oh, my God. We call the bitch up. I say, bitch, you still running around telling niggas that's my son? No. Why would I do that? Because he's still saying I'm his dad, bitch. And we found out we was two. The little nigga 14. That's what type of fucking women you got out here, man. So don't fucking tell me what's wrong with you, bitch. Trying to My nigga just had a flashback for real. Don't hurt him, <laughs> she put it, she no, put no, no, that, that don't hurt me. It's fucked up that you got a little boy out here his whole fucking life thinking his fucking dad is this nigga right here, and you know goddamn well this ain't his fucking dad. Damn. Trifling is mother. The fuck are you talking about? Hurt. No, that's My disrespectful to, to this young nigga right here. This nigga should have a right to know what his fucking dad is and stop running around here fucking lying. Because I ain't never claiming you because you didn't come out these nuts, nigga. Yeah, I didn't shoot you out these kahunas. Because if I did, I would have took you to fucking. You see what this is, young boy? Uh, it's a fucking wing. Come on and get up under it like the rest of your fucking brothers. What if he and taller sisters. than you? Fuck that mean. I'm talking about if he was my boy. He's not my boy. It was a 0% chance he was my boy. I got tests for cheese. You know what cheese shit came back? 99 point motherfucking nine. I got a test for Yed. You know what Yed shit came back? 99 point motherfucking nine. I got a test. For that little nigga, you know what that shit said? A na na na, a na 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 na. It didn't say nine, it said nah. But you know, you know what it he is though. He ain't the fuck yours. This the thing though, cuz when you I been looking at me like I told no, you, Mona, you got Mona, Mona, your baby. I understand shit. about the tests because I got a test fuck, for a test fuck for him, fuck him up. to see was he my cousin. It said ninety nine percent nut ass nigga. That's what the test oh. said for you. That's that's, cool. that's what it came back. That's cool. You cause. goofball. You right. That's cool. It's cool nut. But let, let me get into this second sponsor, Simply Safe. One thing I love about Simply Safe is this. Just imagine having me at your house with this guy. He's with me. He got the whistle. And we're guarding your house. So so car will by He gonna blow the horn, he gonna blow the whistle, whatever's going on. But you got me and this guy, security of the world. This dude right here. Top flight. Because he's going to tackle the motherfucker like Tony the Tackler. Gil the type of person that's going, you could be beating him and anything. He going to play the Good Samaritan joint. I'm talking about the community <laughs> cop. He's a town watch community cop. <laughs> oh, what you doing? Don't do it. That's what I like about Simply Safe. They're going to protect your home. Listen, 24 <coughs> 7, man. All, listen, I'm talking about all this starts at $15 a month. Listen, man, you ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm talking about when we talking about security, we talking about top flight security you don't have to worry about nothing man i'm talking all about, around the clock listen man listen i'm talking about all around your crib you ain't got to worry about it 50 cent I'm a talking day. About, listen listen no no listen it start listen that you break it down is 15 dollars a month you break it down to 15 dollars a month simply say Dang. man i'm talking about get with them they're going to take care of you i'm talking about listen man they're going to take care of your whole house you ain't got to worry about nothing I'm talking about this ain't the tra- traditional security home system. This is next level. I know you this got is, it. I seen it. You be yeah, bragging but this is, all right. But no, the whole twist is I'm like. I'm about to get I'm about to upgrade. Listen, I already know. You already got it in your house, but you don't know. I got. I, I can't do installed. <laughs> you know I do, you know I do uh, security install too. I do a little on the side time. I do security jobs. I install security systems and shit like that because I work for Simply Safe on the low. I don't be telling people my business. So when you see me come through and I got the SS on my hat. You know what that is, Simply Safe. But uh, for to get, to get down, go to simplysafe.com, right? Get free shipping and 60 day risk free. I mean, I'm talking about there's nothing to lose. Simplysafe.com slash game. Check them out, Simply Safe. All right, let's, let's knock the third third sponsor out right now. Can we do that? Yeah, go ahead. So we could, so we could just keep on rolling. Let's go ahead, man. All right, the man. The next sponsor is 3 G. It's the leader in hemp derived cannabinoid. Products. All products are formulated by a biochemist. All products made in the USA with USA grown hemp. 
they have invented the purest federally, federally legal Delta 8 in the world. And when they release the new product, Delta 8, all the Delta 8 products, they were the first federally legal THC products sold in the USA since Prohibition. And that's almost 90 years ago. Delta 8 is federally legal version of THC. Delta 8 effects are a perfect hybrid of CBD and Delta 9, given a similar buzz of all, you know, but without the laziness, the anxiety, the paranoid, or the mental fogginess. So Delta, you know, it, it don't give you none of that. You know what I'm saying? But the Delta 8 users report feeling far more active, outgoing, with increased confidence, and almost none paranoid associated with Delta 9 usage. So Delta 8 is federally legal version of TAC. I already told you guys that Delta 8 will have you feeling amazing, yet functional and clear-headed instead of laziness and paranoid. Go to, go to 3chi.com to shop for Delta 8 vapes, gummies, the oils, homemade edibles. They got everything on there. Go to 3chi.com. That's 3 chi.com use code game and receive five percent off your order and you must be 21 to purchase let's get into let's get into dating older you know we were talking about that dating older like, first of all let's shout out tony and his rona proof man because uh my sister just bought your package, man. <laughs> yeah, you so got the family in, man. I got your whole family coming in, bro. Whole fucking family. My son. Yes. My fucking dad. My fucking sister. Now. Tony the tackler. Next, next, I know two's gonna be talking about Tony's baggage. No, that don't sound right. Yeah, that, I mean, hey, nah. Yeah, yeah I, bought, I, bought, I bought Tony's <laughs> Rona proof. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But uh, shout out to you, bro. Each and every Sunday. Yeah, man, we actually making it where you can watch it any day now. So you can go to RonaProof.com. We got the free training on uh, on, on demand. So people been coming. Yeah, podcast too big. So it was like, yo, Tony, we don't want to wait to Sunday. We want to we want to watch it right now. So we put it on a record pre record. Uh, you can go to RonaProof.com right now. Uh, one hundred percent free. Uh, sign up to the uh, webinar. Ten steps uh, to how you get paid in real estate. Yep. You really help a motherfuckers make that pay. Free. They, they running up. Yeah, so the webinar is free. You don't have to pay nothing for the webinar. I got people that's literally just going to the uh, the webinar itself. The 10 steps are all in there. Teach you all about wholesaling, how you can make money without having to have a real estate license. You can do it from anywhere uh, in the world. Because a lot of times people are like, man, do I have to be in a specific area or do I have to be in the U.S.? Yeah, everywhere, right? So you can literally do it. As long as you got a laptop, Wi-Fi, you're good to go. That's all you need. So, uh Runapproof.com. See you there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, we're going into the game segment, a million dollars worth of game. God's attention, motivation, and education. A lot of people always say they want to do this. They got these ideas, but you know what? The paperwork make the paperwork, and a lot of times people don't have the paperwork in order to make the paperwork for the paper that they establish. We're talking about the business infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Today, we got okay. two brothers on here. I mean, listen, man, we got two powerful brothers, in, and the reason they're powerful what they do is they put the business around ideas. They put the business around goals and business aspirations that we have. I'm talking about that business thing that just get us. A lot of times we talking about some, oh, I want to be able to benefit. That's why I'm going to, no, no, no. A lot of y'all can't benefit because a lot of y'all don't have businesses. Y'all have hustles because y'all don't have the infrastructure around the business. Think about that. The paperwork make the paperwork. Mm -hmm. A lot of people's, you know, businesses, all type of people, they were suffering. They was able to get support during this time. Mm -hmm. They was able to get support I'm talking about extreme support, as we all know about this support, but a lot of people wasn't able to get that support. You know why? They didn't have a business. They had a hustle because they didn't have the infrastructure around it. Once Correct. again, the paperwork make the paper work for you. Mm -hmm. Think about it. All the benefits come out of having a legitimate business. I'm talking about a business, a legitimate business, and that come from infrastructure now these two brothers right here i had to bring them on because what they do is you go to them hi i got some ideas i want to start i don't know how to do an llc i don't know the importance of this i i need to get this i need to get my life i need to get this that that all that stuff that you need to get that you got too much going on in your life to focus on they do that but not just that they don't just set up i'm talking about everywhere in america they can set you up it don't matter where you at you get with these brothers they can set you up but mm -hmm. not just that they also do home health care set up. They set the whole thing up for you. If you're in Pennsylvania, if you're in Ohio, if you're in Maryland, if you're in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, once again, Pennsylvania, Ohio, or Maryland. Listen, they will set up your home health care for you. Mm. But what's important is T and S, licensing and consulting, 
They're not playing. And what they're going to do is they're going to give you information of, of why, why you should set up, the benefits of setting up, and how you can set up at a reasonable, you know, whatever. They got their whole right. thing going on, but I think you really need to get with them. Uh, brother Tawfiq, yes. you know what I mean? Brother Shaz, I would call him. Give, give, give me the game. Please give us the game. Give us the game because everybody want to know how to do this. Please. Okay, let me give you the game. But Move up. Move know, into first, the mic. First, first what we want to do is we want to we want to break down the reason why you need the game. Mm -hmm. Number one, everybody that got ideas out there that want to do something with their life, them ideas are valuable. They're worth a lot of money. No matter what you see going right now, it started off as an idea. Mm -hmm. But I need to break down to y'all why that idea got to be legitimatized. Legitimate made legitimate. Am I yeah, saying it right? Yeah, yes. You know what I mean? So basically the reason why I could be legitimate is because if you get a car, no matter how nice of a car you got, no matter where you want to drive, the car can go anywhere. But if you don't have a license plate, if you don't have registration, you're not going to make it very far. You're going to be pulled over. You have to legitimize your business if you want it to go far without any boundaries. And that's the importance of an EIN. That's the importance of an LLC. That's the importance of an operating agreement, all the things you're going to need to get a bank account. What we do is we build your brand. We do the EIN. We do the LLC. We do the operating agreement. We do your logo. We do your website. We give you a marketing plan to make sure you can grow your business. And then we do a 30-second promo video. So we get you started right. when you come to us no matter what idea you have we take that idea and we make it real right. and that's for any single business that you could think about we can do that for you anywhere in the united states so that's really really a big thing and the other thing we're doing right now while is we doing you know home care and i know a lot of y'all have heard about home care home care getting money all oh, everybody want to be on home care home health hire a family member we all know the game but most people are wondering, like, how do I get in home care? Well, home care is technical. You know, there's a lot that goes into getting in home care. But we do everything for you in home care. I mean, we don't just do the basic stuff like your EIN and your LLC. We do your financial audit review. We do your workman's comp letter. We do all of your operation documents. We do all of your intake packages. We do all of your custom policies and procedures. I mean, we do everything for you. And not only do we do that, we submit your home care application and with all the attachments, it's like 74 to 75 different pages. We ensure and guarantee that you will receive a home care license. Once you get the license, we don't leave you high and dry because now you got a license, but you don't know what to do with it. We teach you how to run the home care agency. We teach you how to market mm. the home care agency mm. to make sure it's gonna make you some money. We teach you how to handle all day-to-day -day operations. And for those of y'all that got the aunt and the uncle, you know what I'm saying, that's in the way waiver services that means they own welfare that's really where the money at we submit your waiver application to the state to make sure that you can take welfare clients for extra for no fee whatsoever there's no extra charge for that so we're doing it big a lot of people coming by they starting these home care agencies and y'all need to get on board for real i mean it's a lot of uh, uh home care agencies here in, in pennsylvania you know yeah. what i mean and i know a lot of people that's doing really well mm -hmm. you know what i mean making a lot of money like one person that we dealt with had like what well, we had like maybe eighty five to hundred people working for him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. if you're trying to get into the home health care and you in Pennsylvania, right, Maryland, or Delaware, no Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. or Virginia. Virginia, or Virginia, Virginia. Okay, so it's the whole Maryland. I mean, it's yeah. the whole uh, DMV. DMV, DMV. How yeah. they would say, right? Okay, then y'all can set that up for him. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, Absolutely. if a person's looking for an LLC, y'all can set that up for them. Absolutely. Yes. Another thing which makes it real unique with us is that, you know, uh, not only do we help you get your home care license, we're also in the business. So we know the pitfalls of the game. We know how to uh, maneuver, maneuver and be successful in this business. So it's, uh, it's very important you guys reach out to us. We definitely looking to help anyone in Pennsylvania, uh, Virginia, Ohio, anywhere help start any business any home care agency so definitely reach out to us for sure and, and our consultant is more unique than most people's consulting okay. and I'm, I'm gonna break it down for you real quick consultant falls into three different categories the first form of consulting is someone that does something for a long time and then they done and they consult kind of like a school teacher mm -hmm. they hit 55 they join the school board and they get a check just to get the ideas that's good the second form of consulting is not good is when someone makes more money on the selling of information than they did on the utilization of the information. Kind of like the guy selling the real estate book, but he didn't make no bread in real estate. That's misleading, you don't really, really deal with that. Mm -hmm. The third form of consulting is the most unique form of consulting that exists. It's when someone's doing simultaneous consulting. That means that they're showing success in a particular field and they're simultaneously consulting. Mm 
The reason why it's rare is because generally when someone's showing success, for instance, if you wanted to learn to be a basketball coach when Michael Jordan was winning championships and you wanted Phil Jackson to teach you, it's probably not gonna happen. One, he's leading Michael Jordan to the playoffs and to the championship. He doesn't have time to teach you anything. And two, why should he teach you when you can come back and beat him in the playoffs? So most people that find mm. success, they don't wanna share information. Your life will change when you go from zero consumers to 100 consumers so drastically and there's over 200,000 consumers in any major city in the regions alone that unity doesn't have to deplete wealth unity can destroy poverty so we can own a home care agency we can see success we can get those things you call the bag you know what I mean mm -hmm. but at the same time we can help you come in and get the bag too and it don't hurt us in no way absolutely and, uh, and, and you know what I feel you I feel you on that aspect because the reason why I call myself the King of Philly, when way back when I when I when I first said, you know what, I'm gonna take on this. This is who I am. Is because I helped everybody. Yeah, it was about the rap, it was about the longevity, but it was also about when he needed to get to the radio, who got him there? When he needed to get to the radio, who got him there? When he needed this look or who did that for him? When he needed, and nobody in Philadelphia was ever doing that. Ball, right. you know. Yeah, correct. Brother Tafik. Hundred years, brother Paul. <laughs> you know we got a dub in. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So when you say, what was the last form of simultaneous si consulting? I was simultaneously <laughs> consulting <laughs> niggas. That's why I'm the king. Because it's not a motherfucker that could come through this Philadelphia area that could say they was hot, they was this, and... Gilly ain't try to help you in some type of way. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? Without worrying about you coming back and beating me in the playoffs like Phil Jackson. I don't give a fuck if you come back and your numbers is greater than mm -hmm. mine. Then that's what God had in the plans for you. Correct. Mm -hmm. he, he had it in the plans for you to go platinum. That's mm -hmm. cool. I get, I enjoy being able to see another man win and feed his family and move his mom out the ghetto mm -hmm. and understand it's more to life than that 10 fucking block radius that you stay in. So I felt that simultaneous consultant. Because and, <laughs> that, was, that was major, the way he broke that down. Uh, he definitely needed to be teaching. And I'm going to say this, though. A lot of people are saying, damn, man, I, you, you're just thirsty right now. You want it. And in order to get it the way you really want it, 267-534-5053. Five three four fifty fifty three, and you go to TS Licensing and Consulting dot com. TS Licensing and Consulting dot com. Go there, right? And listen, this G A M E this brother just gave us. Listen, there's no way in the world. There's no that way in the world. You mean, in I'm talking about it's, it's, it's so receptive. You, you just get, get it. You get it. It just it's just extremely receptive. You get it. Man, listen, you gave it up. You just broke that down because a lot of people don't think about that. You got people out here that just, like you said, they're hustling information. Right. They're hustling information, and it's not, it ain't got nothing to do with anything but just information. They just hustling. You know what I'm saying? So that's, right. that's major. So, you know, okay. yeah. And so, so basically, you know, what we were trying to do is we're trying to empower more people and to, to build in their own businesses so we can spend money with each other. So I figured myself, you know, we looked at a Chinese store recently, you know, a couple of years ago, and don't get me wrong, the chicken wings was good, you know, I liked the hug that came with the joint, you know what I mean? But I was looking around, and I was noticing every day we was taking a lot of money in that store, and they wasn't hiring nobody from the community, they wasn't spending no money in the community, that means that money was going in that store, and it wasn't coming back out that store. So it wasn't empowering nobody else. So what we recently did, 
is we bought the Chinese bought store. The store yeah. You know, we took the Chinese store and we we built it up. We're not going to be a Chinese store. It's going to be one of our home care agencies. And we plan on hiring two or three hundred people from our own community to give them jobs. So now when you come in that so-called Chinese store, you come in to pick up a check and not just drop off one. Mm. You can't do these things until you take your dreams and make them reality. So you got to call the company so you can make it real. You know what I mean? So that's what we're doing, man. I want people to join. So y'all turning dreams into reality. Oh, for sure. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely, man. That's what's up, man. Hey, listen, man. So let's break it down one more time for the good people out here that's watching. LLC, they set that up for you. Set it right up for you. Set it right up for you. you need any type of business, anything set up, they'll do that for mm -hmm. you. Correct. Yes, sir. You want to start a home health care in you in Pennsylvania? Yeah. yeah. Ohio, Ohio, Virginia, Virginia, Virginia Maryland, Maryland, DC, DC. <laughs> we got you. Baltimore. You better believe that's it. in Maryland. <laughs> no, I'm just going to make sure. That was some wild old shit. You know, but ever since he said Virginia and DC, yeah. I figured I'd throw Baltimore in there yeah, too. For sure. But the whole DMV, they got you. For sure. All you got to do is tap in. What's the number one more time? 267 534 5053. 267 534 Fifty fifty three, and you can check them out online at tslicensingandconsulting.com no no and while ttslicensingconsulting.com yes, like and that's the best way to reach us because when you go on that website it's going to pop up do you want to schedule an appointment all you got to do is press a button and we're going to get right back to you so that can, mm. that, that website so, so, is heavy so, so everything still yes. do is top flight huh? top flight sure. man. And also, I, knew, uh, I knew ball for 20 years he been a top flight nigga for about tall feet Tawfiq, yeah, brother Tawfiq. <laughs> I knew brother Tawfiq for about twenty, mm -hmm. so yeah. he he's been he's been a good brother. Also, we on Instagram as well at uh, TS Consulting Team on Instagram. Check us out. That's yeah, right. Too. And I got one more thing to say to these people, man. Let's you know that, that that money you got in the bank is cool. You know it's good to have money saved. It feel good, but it's a difference between money saved and money stagnant. You know, this ten thousand, five, ten thousand we may have in the bank or more, they taking that money and turning it into twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty thousand. And at the end of the year, they giving you your hundred and fifty dollars, man. Bet on yourself. Take that money and build your own business. Cause you're not gonna pay yourself no hundred and fifty thousand with your five thousand. You're gonna pay yourself heavy. So you can go buy some Chinese stores. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so <laughs> yeah. take that money out that bank and do something with us and call us, man. You know, cause it ain't doing nothing in there but making somebody else rich. So you saying make your money work for you and stop Correct. working for your money there you go listen man i'm wallow 267 man you got these good brothers here tns licensing consultant listen once again this number 267-534-5053 267-534-5053 listen man check them out man they're going to take you to another level in life and they said they can make your money break dance <laughs> better believe it that was nice. That was nice. Uh, yeah, nigga, you know I was the best break dancer in the No, you ass, wasn't. Nigga. Yes, I was. No, you wasn't. You all you was known for was spinning on your wrist, you nut ass nigga. That's you all I got to do. Dirty ass sock on your wrist, spin on your wrist all That was the joint. Yeah, that was, that was nigga, it. Look at this nigga spinning the in the circle for two hours. Doing the windmill. Nigga couldn't do nothing else, you goofball. Hey, listen, though, man. We want to appreciate you, brothers, appreciate for coming in. To the dropping game this segment. motherfucking game, game. people because people always in our DMs. How y'all do this? How you do that? And while we'll be big on giving out the information to them, how you do certain things. But sometimes you got to bring people like you guys on to actually say, you know what? Because this motherfucker's like me that's lazy. I'd rather pay motherfucker to mow my lawn than me actually get on it and do it myself. Mm -hmm. I'd rather pay a motherfucker to do my set my LLC up, set my business up, handle my shit for me than to do it myself. Because I got a whole bunch of other shit that I'm doing and I ain't yep. got time. So I appreciate you brothers for coming on here, dropping mm -hmm. that game and letting people know that they could just come holler at y'all. And everything is everything. Oh, for sure. Thanks for, sure. for having us, man. We no appreciate it. No problem, man. man. Appreciate y'all, man. This is the game segment. Guidance, attention, motivation, education. Yeah. Uh, come on, let's go with Dayton Older. I'm going to say this about Dayton Older. It can be a life changer. It can upgrade your life. And it's an educational journey. It's an experience that you can't, <laughs> I'm talking about that you can't imagine. I'm talking about some, because uh, I was talking to one of my, you know, little youngins. How much older are we talking, though? It depends. Like my my young boy, he's twenty four. He he messed with a chick thirty seven, and I was just giving him the game. You know, he came to me because I'm an OG. You know what I mean? He know I'm seasoning at the department. <laughs> I'm just saying he know I used to be. I'm a formerly you know player back in the day. He he know, 
You know, he heard stories about me from his aunts and stuff like, damn, they say you were smooth out here. You used to be moving and grooving. Yeah, I, you know, I was doing my thing. You know what I mean? So that's another story. That's when I was Philadelphia Slim. But uh, he gave to me, and he was like, damn, man, what do you, I mean, because he, he basically was like, he was really told, he, he, he was strung out of, you know, she, she did some special things to him. Mm -hmm. She did some spectacular things to his life. Mm -hmm. He was just like, man, I love the old, I'm like, it was one of Jones, like, I killed somebody about her type Jones. And I was like, you know, uh, I, you know, I want. I tell my sons date around your age. You know what I mean, my daughter date around, like, cause I, I don't give a fuck. I, my daughter, oh, you want your daughter to be? Oh, my daughter twenty. Oh, her nigga thirty nine. No, no, nah. fuck that. no. What do you feel, Mona? How many, how many older dudes fuck you date? When I was like 18, 19, my boyfriend was probably 31, 32. Damn. God damn. Oh, no, he'd have got, listen, no, we'd have done him in. Let me listen. <laughs> we common in the black community. I think when you're a girl. It's common. Yeah, it's Break common. It listen, when you're in high school, you don't want, it's the girls that date the high school guys, and then it's the girls that date outside of high school. You know what I mean? And a lot of girls date so grown date ass men. You high school. No, huh. my first Little boy. Fast ass. I wasn't. Listen, I wasn't fast. I was from Virginia. Fast 18, in the motherfucker. Nigga, 39 years old. Lost a, lost your virginity at 18. 30 to a nigga 30. 30. Who said 39? Who? What you said? 30 what? They got something going 32. on too. I know. Everybody keep trying to put me on Mona. Y'all y'all be y'all doing some shit on that. Hey, hey, why everybody think we fucking though? I don't know, Tony. And you know what? Now, okay, listen to what now I'm what? Saying. Now you now yeah, what? No, because he got because the thirty nine. Now you since you put that out there, I'm gonna get some pussy. <laughs> First off, I was not fast. I lost my virginity at like eighteen. I was like eighteen, nineteen when I got my first to adult boyfriend. Year old? And he was thirty two. No, oh, thirty two. No. So how old was the nigga that took broke you in? We was around the same age, like 19. Oh, so he ain't, that dick wasn't good enough for you. You said, I need some oh, older the dick. the dick was terrible. So you said, I need point. some older dick. No, what I'm telling you is that that's because even him, he was a dropout. He was a drug dealer. I just think that girls like that bad boy shit and we go for the older guy. But what I want girls to know is you 21, you doing well, you cute. The older guy only wants you because he not on the same level as bitches his age. It's not that he wants you because you young, tight, and cute. Mm. A lot of you young bitches wore out anyway. Your coochies is loose because you do a lot of fucking. No, that was a hate. That was a hate from was older bro. Oh, yeah. Y'all be yeah, hating yeah, on these yeah, young yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all be hating on these young girls. That was hate. Uh, that was what hate. I'm saying First of all, just how you drop the vinegar yeah, in the tub yeah. and snap that pussy I have back. Never. They can snap I that pussy never. back to see. This pussy's <laughs> amazing. This pussy's amazing. I'm tired of playing around. Snap it back. Snap, back. snap that pussy Tony, back. I'm looking for you snap. to be the same. Snap one, that so pussy do that. back. Snap. Do your cables. Snap, snap. snap that pussy snap. back. Snap your bagels. Snap that pussy back. But I don't do no vinegar. You use vinegar too. Hear me out. This is a teacher moment. You know I'm on a teacher moment. Young bitches. When you attract that guy, hey, even bitches. if he rich, even mm. if he rich, he 40, 35, he rich, you need to know the reason why he don't date women his age is not because they old and they raggy like he say they are. It's because he's not on their level. Your standards are lower just because of your age. He's trying to take advantage. What you mean by that, trying to manipulate you. What you That's mean by why. that? No, 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 no. That don't mean that. Sometimes no, no, no. a nigga like, damn, dog, uh, you know, I, fuck that. These, these old bitches don't want to do nothing no more. <laughs> they motherfucking engine done burnt the fuck out. But they can't date you. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Listen, listen. Fuck listen, no. Listen. That's listen, the no, thing, listen, though. Listen, I'm telling you how some niggas feel. All niggas, all older niggas that date younger chicks don't date younger chicks because they So feel, let me ask you this. See, I, can, I, can I finish saying what I'm saying? What's they, the younger sugar? They, 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 they don't date younger chicks because, oh, uh, oh, I can't get a bitch my age. No. <clears throat> uh, the bitches my age. Uh, why? Why they, I seem like the old? I ain't saying all. They, they ain't all kept behavior. up with themselves. Some of them been. Oh, she used to be a stallion. Yeah. Now the bitch built like a gallon. I see a lot of nice looking women. <laughs> no, but why they hate? Why? They why do. they be hating on the young? But girls? at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that. you got to understand this too, right? A older woman, right? Who done been through a lot? Oh, they don't want through some shit mentally. So they patience that they, they just be, uh, they just ain't got no patience for nothing. Just like who, oh, like don't put me in relationship jail because you done dealt with sixty eight raggedy motherfuckers in your life. So now you want to hold me accountable for all the raggedy he hot, ass he hot niggas today, that you dealt with. See, that's what you can't do. That, that's niggas do that too. Nigga get with a bitch. Bitch break his heart. Uh, I can't take it. Uh, hey, bitch, you meet after that. He want to put the bitch in relationship jail. No, I got trust issues. Get over it. It was only one raggedy bitch who sucked the dick on you. 
Move on, buddy. It don't mean that every bitch gonna suck a dick on you. But that's that's how it is. That's life. You got bitter niggas and you got bitter bitches. That they don't. Oh, you got bitches. They so they be so bitter. They just. I'm cool. Nigga ain't got this. Ain't got this. Ain't got this. Ain't got this. I don't even want to talk, bitch. You're she 40, know what she want. You're 48 and you're single. Her standards are solid. Bitch, you're 48 and you're single. Do you realize you're about to die soon, What's the bitch? youngest you date? You're about to die oh, with no young? dick, bitch. You're about um, to die lonely. What's like, the youngest you would go? Just curiosity. If you were single, I'm what's probably the youngest? like 10, 10 years. What is you trying to set me up? 10, 10, 10, 10 years or something like that. I don't even answer that. I don't answer I don't think about other bitches. No. Blink twice if you're getting beat. Fuck is you talking about? What's the youngest bitch? You a fuck if you wasn't with two. What the fuck type of setup is that? Is you the fucking police? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Are y'all getting your asses whooped at home? You better not. You better not. You better not. See if you start smoking in this. Stop fuck, fucking fuck. around. Fuck you got a wire on you. Fuck you got Blink a. Blink twice if she whooping your ass. He blinked. That's crazy. Like, y'all getting your asses whooped. Let me whooped? tell you something. I'm from North. Let, let me just tell you something. Help us. I ain't getting my ass whipped to get her ass cooked. Daddy, imagine two was sitting here and you asked two, what's the youngest age you'll mess with a nigga if you wasn't with Gil? You think two gonna sit here and be like, no, I mess with a nigga uh, 24. Well, guess who you gonna be messing with? She mess with a nigga 22 anyway from down Banking. I told you I caught him in Atlanta. You gonna be messing with the 24 year What's the youngest you'll go, Because if you could think, because if you could see it, you could be it. So like 35, I'm 35, six. If you could see you're fucking with a 25 year old, then you could be it. Go fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Fuck wrong with you? Have you dated older? But the young, yo, the young girl, the young girls do be like, they be more, they dress a little bit more provocative. So you know, niggas like, you know, niggas like, do love see yeah, titty, like, I want, I want to see my girl look a little sexy. So oh, the you young, like that? yeah, so on on occasion, sometimes the young girls don't know when to cut it on and off. The motherfuckers gonna walk around, they go to church with the same shit on that they going. You know, they got church ain't like that. They, they, they got their club church, outfit on. They got a club outfit on in church. <laughs> Leg be shaking. I see some hot tamales. Yeah, you going. You're going. Yep. You need to stop. You need to stop. That's it. You get your cat for the day. All right. Hey, listen, man. Fuck that. We got to get in the stories from the cell. Man. I got something to say. What you got to say? Say it, please, Mona. Please. I want to talk about the tweet that was heard all across the country. What tweet? Meek Mills tweeted that him and Milano are going to co-parent. They're not going to be together. Well, any, any added to bitch. So, so first, of all, first of all, first of all, don't you ever in your life call Milano? She from Philly. I call all women bitches. There's no shade. Fuck she added the queen. Out. He added. The, that's your second threat. You got one more. I'm gonna bust your ass. In that's right. I, I got. I got Edit my money on you. Let's edit bet this that. Out. I'll bet you with your ass. You I bet you she get. Listen. I bet, I bet you y'all roll on me. Let me tell you something. I bet you y'all jump me. You, you know it's 2020. Nah, it's different I'm not rules. I'm recording this shit. It's 2020. It's different rules. I got her. It's 20. Shut the fuck up. Let me just remind you. It's 2020. It's different rules. You see what the young. You see what all the little niggas doing. Shoot people in the feet. Yeah, bitch, I'm going to tear your tootsies up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's deep shit. I'm going to tear your tootsies up. I got Mona fucking you up. I put my money on her. She's going to be back in the world. back right about the studio like this. <sighs> Listen, he announced to the no, world. Playing. He I'm announced playing, to the world. Man. I want to know what y'all think because y'all men. I've been shot too, man. Few times I know what that shit feels. You keep like. fucking them little gray. Somebody graze you on your wrist. You keep talking about you got shot. Oh, I got shot. You see this? Graze me. Grace me. He was playing with a gun in the house and the shit went Get off the in the crazy. Fuck, out, fuck of here, out of here. Bro. You keep playing. Yeah, I was down the way. Somebody shot me. Time, Get bro. the fuck out of here, man. Five. Three. Oh, three. Okay. You got shot. This nigga lying. I swear. I'm lying. This nigga lying. You got shot three times. Yes. Stop using that like you like you like you like you fucking fifty cent a two pack. <laughs> <Five shots, laughs> he keep trying to throw that in his whole no, image. First, no, first that's an no, image no, play. No, no, that's no, a no, marketing no, image. First of all, first of all, I never the fuck out of here. I don't respect. But you've been saying I don't respect the nigga that got shot. I respect the shooter. Shoot so when I'm apologizing to Meg because I'm playing around about a sensitive situation, I'm like, no, I know what you're going through, Meg. Because kill you, you can't say that. You've been Graze stabbed. Shot. You can't Graze say that. Shot. You've been stabbed. That's some hood shit right here. You've been stabbed. That's you okay. Stabbed and I Crazy got shot is different. <laughs> That's a difference. <laughs> nigga, if you can see where a bullet went <laughs> in there and came out, and it don't count if you shoot yourself. The fuck you talking about? Bitch. Don't you take that sneaker off? What's wrong with you, bitch? Activating corn chips. You got soft <laughs> meat and soft 
Let me see. Let me feel your feet. You want to feel his feet? You fucking. What the fuck, Lord? What do y'all think about the tweet? What do you think about him tweeting and announcing? Not her announcing. I mean, he did that shit for y'all because y'all niggas be all in in fucking celebrities' business. This shit be crazy, motherfucker. No, no. I'm gonna put that out there. He put that out there. Let me just tell you something. Give him the game. If me and two break up the day of tomorrow, if me and two break up the day of tomorrow, I'm gonna put a tweet out. Yes. Hey, listen, listen. I love to. You feel what I'm saying, but just uh, you know, I just want to let everybody know, me and Toot is no longer together. Me, we we did it. We had a great family relationship. I will always love her. Blah blah blah. Because if a nigga see Toot with a bit with a nigga, I don't need 4,800 niggas. That, oh, they posted up on the gram. They right. all sending it to me because they think me and Toot together, but we really not together. If they see me, I'm out. Because if me and Toot break up, you ain't got to never worry about me getting another woman ever. I'm going out with a bank. You talk about young bitches, or they gonna be everywhere. <laughs> Man, that motherfucker snorting yay on that. I knew he was a snorkel. I knew he was a snorkel. I, I listen. I'm, I'm going out with a bang. I'm going out like you have, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? I knew he was a snorkeler. Let me tell you something. It's a reason why. It's a reason why you have to snorkeler. live to a fucking hundred and forty-three. It was pussy. All them young bitches. Yeah. I loved her response. Her response was, um, <laughs> "Lock the people up that that killed Breonna Taylor." Wasn't that classy? Yes. I'm not going there with you, well, nigga. Who are you talking about, Milano? Milano's Well, response. Milano's classy, so yeah, she, she is very herself classy. like. I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this. Y'all, y'all, y'all women need to start. Putting all that same energy, y'all being all these celebrity right. relationships, and put that shit into y'all energy. Right. Y'all might. What about you know? your relationship? Shut up, y'all like the gossip. You you shut up. I don't the fuck. Relationship is touchy right now. What you mean it's touchy? What's going on? You got a new dude? Wednesday. Oh, that's right. Nigga, drop her on the. What's his I name? How old is he? How old is he? Keep doing that. She a weekend slorier. Nigga stab on the weekends. Said nigga fuck you on the weekends. You said a nigga fuck you on the weekends. Second punch. Monday. That's what I said. So he fucks you on the weekends and he dumps you on a Monday. And then he Mona, come back on Mona. Friday. Fuck you again, white girl. What? What? Uh, how old is he? None of your business. Is he a young? Is he 26. a young? Oh, he. Oh, she taking advantage of a young boy. She taking she advantage. You lick his ass. Keep it real. No, I never licked his ass. Oh my god, you turned him out. You licked the gooch. No, I, I lick gooch. Yeah, oh, she's gooch a gooch. Licker. You love gooch. Yeah. I don't love gooch, but I hit Let the me lick your gooch. Like, gooch. Like you like your Gucci, you Gucci <laughs> woman. Why well, would he even ask you about Gucci getting his ass woman. licked? It's because no, it's, no, it's I, not no, for him. I know you it's young. Ma- I know them young motherfuckers in a different <laughs> shit. Don't, I ain't young. Listen, you got Gucci man and Gucci woman. Get That's cool. Oh my god. I like a little butt yeah. lick. I don't lick no butt. Dude, so he tweet twenty six. Let me ask you. He twenty six. He lick your ass. He's listen. I already. I've already explained the dick. The dick's amazing. Oh, this the New York boy. Yeah, same nigga. Are you still Flat Bush? Shout out to Fat Bush. Do, but when he lick your ass in your vagina, do you have a fat bush? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Oh, well, I'm just saying. What? <laughs> what, Gil? <Yeah. you? laughs> I'm just saying, you got to trim that motherfucker down, Mona. I'm, I'm just bald. Telling you. Oh, all it's right. the sooner. Every 30 days, oh, it's gone. Right. Hey, let's go to stories from a cell, man. First of all, I talked to Wallow Sully don't J. Don't put no spice on it. Don't I talked to Wallow Sully J. Stories from the cell. I don't put no spice to, on it. I talked it. to Sully J. I once want to tell... <laughs> I'm telling this story from the cell. Don't we, don't add no Jay shit to it. That phone for don't long, add no shit to it. Shout out to my old Sully J. Time. Larch. Okay, he said Wallow bitch game was <laughs> no. on was 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 top of the line. He said the nigga. He said this old head one time. Hold on, I got a bunch of stories. Hold don't, on. Don't add don't add no shit I, on. I ain't gonna say no name. I ain't gonna say game. some old head who used to train him in boxing. Who was locked up forever? He used to train him and another nigga, right? I ain't gonna say that. He used to train. He used to train Rico too. Rico, that's okay. Rico, the, <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Whole time, old head was a vicious. Train you and then get you in a cell and train you. Whoa! But no, hold on. But but they didn't know. Hold they up, get we, we didn't know. Oh, he ain't finesse. This is some back he in the day. Training him no, shit. he ain't finesse nobody. He, he finesse. Yes, he did. No, he ain't finesse. No, 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 no. no. Protect yourself, no, young this man. Is you no, he did. No, he yes, did. I, do, I didn't say that. You lying? Yes, you did. I was already. Uh, you know, I'm a mixed martial art of boxes. I do anything. So what happened was, before we got into the before back in the day, he was an ass warrior. We don't know nothing about that because what happened in jail. I'm gonna give you the game. It came a time where the old heads had to stop that dumb shit. The brothers told you, "Holy, we ain't gonna keep." They was in there, you know, on some booty warrior shit in there, right? So we don't know. Cause so what happened is, and the old head told me one time, 
it's a lot of old heads that we thought was OG or OGs and all that that was ass warriors in jail, but ain't nobody telling each other because everybody has a mustard on their jacket some type of way. Not all, not all old heads in jail, but it was a lot. So the boxing gym, we he, he, he's the top flight trainer, right? So we go down and we so we don't know that this dude was a he was a fucking real live ass warrior back in the day. And right. back then you could fucking jail nobody said that, but right. they shut it down now. So right. They, they okay, shut it down. It. Right. No, hold not back then when I was I'm not, we not saying, way back. Yeah, don't don't try to put that. Yeah, I'm just I'm just cleaning it up. It was open. <laughs> like 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 with some real shit, like dudes don't understand the shit. And it shocked me. Like, y'all getting on my nerves. No, no. So what happened was this. This is what happened, Mona. We don't find out to after the Governor Tom Ridge closed the boxing gym down. No, you found out that day in that cell. He never was my cell. No, no he, he took you in the cell to teach you. Yes, he, he, he did. Lying. He fucking lied. Then he couldn't go in my cell. I'm just telling you what he, he lied. He couldn't go in my cell. No, no. Yeah. you went in his cell. He was teaching you the one I did not go in his cell. No, no, no said, we can't go in the cell. They said, that's when he put the move on you and you bitched out. He wanted some ass, but you bitched out for a hug and a kiss on the neck. I'm just a, a little grind no, and a kiss on the neck. I'm just telling you. You're grind and a kiss on the neck. Oh, my God. He lying on me. No, I didn't say that. I didn't listen. listen. He lying. I'm no, just telling you what they said. He sexually assault you. Said, no, Mona. They said, you know stop stop saying it with that Karen voice. Okay, hold on. You're saying it with that Karen okay, voice trying to play me. Okay, hold on. I just want to know. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. What about when you worked in the kitchen? And, and. You worked overnight in the kitchen. So you used to steal stuff from the kitchen and take it back to the to the cell, to the block, and sell it. But in order to steal shit from the kitchen, you had to put it under your nuts. Oh, you lying. You yeah. lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. You I lying. got you lying. all the tapes, dog. I'm going to tell you right now. I got all now the listen, tapes, listen. dog. Ask Big High. And they said Skeeter. They said Skeeter from off the block used to love them packages coming fresh up off you. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Hold, hold on, no hold Skeeter. Up, hold on, hold on. I'm hold fucking on. you up right now because you don't expect me to know Skeeter. Let, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Number one, we did not have to do that. You can ask, yes, you did. You can ask RZA. Ask RZA. You know RZA. We always see. I call him ask big, right ask now. Ask Big. Ask Big. Fuck no, that. No, 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 Huh? I'm trying to cut my phone. Hey, whoever hey, hey, cut my phone. phone. First. So the kitchen you It's on Rico on. It's on. It's over. Cut your phone off while I'm. Damn, he restarted your joint. Hey, Rico. What's up, bro? I'm shooting the podcast right now. We live, right? Yeah. Well, oh, when old head used to teach y'all how to box, didn't he take? Didn't y'all ain't know he was an ass warrior until he took low in the cell and low tapped out for to a grind oh, and a shit. kiss on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never do that. You, you ain't gonna say that. Wait till my phone. Hey, uh, no, <laughs> yo, he shouted his name. <laughs> Don't do that, Rico. Hey, Rico. No, no, let listen, me ask on, you another on. question. When he was in the kitchen and he worked overnight, didn't he stole stuff in order to get it to the block? Where did he have to put it at? In his drawers. Oh, in his drawers. <laughs> he lying on me. He lying. He lying, Rico. I ain't Skeeter, gonna put that shit on my drawers. And then Skeeter hold used hold to let him honey hold buns up. fresh off while on nuts. <laughs> Hey Rizza, hey Rizza, yeah. fuck that. No, you try to put some other money. Thank you. Hey, you try to put some other money. FaceTime, I'm FaceTiming you, Rizza. Answer the FaceTime, Rizza. All right. Damn, Low. Hold up. We got the truth already. Low, look, Rizza don't want to answer. Let me talk to Rizza then. Let me talk to Rizza. My phone missing. I don't give a fuck you call him Rizza, Method Man, Capadon. You know Rizza too. Yo, Low. Hey, Rizza. Hey, listen. Now, now, listen. I'm on the podcast, right? Get now. You, was you working out at the bake shop? Will be at nighttime. No, fuck that, Rizza. Fuck that, Rizza. Rizza. We live on the podcast right Watch. now. Watch. Rizza, don't be lying, Rizza. Don't be lying because I already exposed them on one phone call. Rizza Y'all worked lying. in the bake shop overnight, right? In order to get shit back to the block, y'all put it under your nuts, Rizza. No, we didn't, Rizza. No. Yes, you thank did, you, Rizzo. Thank you, Rizzo. I told you. Rizzo lied. Rizzo work with me. I'm Rizzo telling lied because he sold honey buns fresh from under his nuts, too. You crazy. Wallace had that shit, man, all around the carts and all that. He said that shit packed right. 
Yeah. I'm a fucking. Yeah. I was a legend. Hello. Mills on Wheels. Yeah. Mills on Wheels. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He had right. shit all around the cart so, so, so and shit. People sit here and lie, Rizzo, on this motherfucking podcast, Rizzo. <laughs> Put it on the main cart. Okay, so Rizzo. So Rizzo. Rizzo. So who was the so who was the nigga that ripped his jump off that day in the cell? Who was the nigga that ripped his jump off, Rizzo? And they came in, and they came in, and, and old head and Wallow was in the same jumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, T Rizzo, you Rizzo, you lying, you Pete Rizzo. Fuck out here, Rizzo. We love you, Rizzo, but you lying, Rizzo. Love you, dog. Got my Come name on, clean. Dog. No, you did. Yeah, my name clean. You lied that was locked yeah, up with you. He was court. listen, listen, bro. I was a fucking wizard in the kitchen at the night bake shop. I was Mills on Wheels. Me, Mark, I do. I had to. All right. Rico lied on. What about I, the nigga? What about when you turned into Carl Lewis in the motherfucking uh in the in the yard? Now that was real. I'm a, I'm explaining to you though. I'm going to explain to you what happened. I'm standing in the yard. Jay was there, so Jay know. And all I see is this boy coming with a knife. He got his knife out. He coming towards us. But I didn't know he was looking at the dude in the back. So I activated my joggers. I ain't do nothing wrong. I just started <laughs> laughing. <laughs> they said you was Carl Lewis. Was the knife for you? What? Oh, no. I don't know. He was looking at but the nigga in the back. Of, he was looking at the nigga right behind Wallow. But Wallow told, told, told Jay, who the fuck this nigga looking at? And it was and like Jay he was, was like, looking at Jay me. Was he like, the nigga up? Look, Jay was like, yeah. Jay was like, no, nah, he ain't worrying about you. Wallow was like, no, nah, that nigga looking over there. I got and he the pulled the knife there. out. He started walking over there. Wallow like, fuck is he walking over there for? As soon as he got almost <laughs> close distance, Wallow turned to the Carl Lewis. I ain't mad at you, Lo. And started screaming all through the yard. I ain't screaming. Yes, he see? did. He was running See? through the yard screaming. He, put, he, he was put running through the yard screaming. I did not Paul. scream. I ran. I didn't scream, cuz. I didn't scream. I fucking ran. I broke. I You ain't scream for the guard. No, I didn't. I ain't doing that. I broke. And then I, when I, look, I got a distance. By the time I look back, he was already activating this joint on somebody else. And Damn. then you, and then you said, "Fuck this, I'm going." I calmed down. down. I was like, ah. "But <laughs> niggas, <laughs> but I'm, I'm sick." Niggas peep me running, yeah. and I try to play it off like I was running the track. <laughs> but they peep me like this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> See, one thing about it. Listen, young boys, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I wasn't running. Listen, there's no such thing as no tough guy in fucking jail. <laughs> anybody can get snapped. Anybody can get hit in the head with a fucking weight. All that shit these niggas be coming home telling you, I was that. You might have, you had like 1% of motherfuckers that maybe was just barbaric in there. <laughs> that wasn't no joke. That they had no picks. The guards, niggas, they ain't had no. But a lot of dudes be capping, man. They don't be, you be trying to get home and you be thinking about your life and your family. So all that shit, dude, because you, you, you got dudes, like dude that was coming with that knife, he had to tomorrow burn out 10 times and come back again and burn out again. He was never coming home. So his outlook was different probably than mine and somebody else. So that's why you got your skedaddle on. Man, I activated my motherfucking my my motherfucking walkers. <laughs> Them Jones turned into runners real quick. <laughs> Fuck, is you kidding me? It was plenty of other times where I had to activate my bitch game, my negotiation, <laughs> my Samuel Jackson game. <laughs> because it'd be mis it'd be mistaken identities in jail. A dude to think you somebody else because you was in a cell that a nigga moved out of and they moved in the block and he come to your cell, yo, my man. Oh, whoa, 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 brother. We supposed to be brothers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my brother. You see what I'm saying? My brother. You gotta, We're supposed to be brothers. You got you to gotta know funny. how to speak the universal language to deal with the people, man. You oh, can't be, shit. oh, brother, no, no sir, brother. It wasn't me. You see what I'm saying? It'd be like that. Sometimes you got to really be, because the tough shit, all that tough shit, it'll get you fucked up, man. Trying to be like, just always, no, nah, dudes ain't going for that in there. It's a different world in there. And ain't no guns in there. So motherfucker yeah. activate that knife or, them, or, the, or that weight or them hands and you, you know, you can't run too far in that joint. But I ran that day in that motherfucking yard because the yard was big. Shit. Let me I busted the job. All right. Well, listen, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every week, oh. making us the number one music podcast in the country. We truly appreciate the support. Make sure y'all hit up Barstool Sports. Dot com. Get your merch. Get your merch. Get, get your, your merch. merch. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow Two Six Seven. I'm Don't Call Me White Girl. But call a white girl. Tony the Tackler, aka Tony tackling the, the bullshit, right, Low? Yeah, he be tackling a lot of bullshit out here, and it's just like that. Bye. <laughs>